I um, grew up in the 80s in Ethiopia, and growing up the way I did, I never took anything for granted. That perspective is always ever so present in my mind. So it does drive sort of the choices we make as a company so that we can start to drive change and tackle two of the world's largest challenges that we face as humanity, namely food security and climate change. We at Grow are, are bringing a whole new asset class to the market. It's climate as an asset class. And it's to manage the physical um, risks associated with climate change. You could have companies whose sales get impacted because climate is shifting. Um, you could have hotel industry, for example, when the Australian bushfires occurred, the entire tourism industry in Australia collapsed essentially because nobody was going to fly into Australia at that time. And that's really sort of what we're focused on is how do we help society, businesses, governments, and people better one, quantify what that risk is, right? So what is the risk of that happening to me? And then once you quantify it, you should manage it, right? So measure and manage. How can we be the catalyst for that on food security and climate change? Last year was a particularly challenging year because of COVID, but the second sort of very large event that occurred at the beginning of last year was a swarm of locusts that had descended upon East Africa and were spreading at a rapid pace. And one of the things we wanted to make sure we did as a company was use the data and the models we have to build what we called a locust damage and severity model and indices that helped people track the where locusts potentially were and the potential for damage so that treatment could occur before they damaged crops you know any further one of my concerns with a lot of ai out there is that it's not truly global um, that the teams building these ais are not diverse enough and so therefore you have highly biased ai that you can develop right and so one of the things that we've done as a company from day one is embed the notion of diversity into our DNA in every aspect, right? So it's in the backgrounds people come from, meaning like actual academic backgrounds. It's sort of been curated since the beginning that way, and it's something that I think about as a CEO in terms of as we're rapidly scaling, how do we preserve that? It's really hard to do, but you have to. Our goal is how do we help people understand the physical effects of climate change, right? Like, how do our lives change and where do they change? And how do we sort of take action up front because we have this debt to repay, even if we change our behavior today.